I'm Elisa Hasimovich, Vice President at American Precision Services, and today I'm going to talk to you about recognizing problems and finding solutions. Now the first part of this is identifying the problem. What is the issue that you have? Secondly, I would then obtain feedback. In the work environment, it's incredibly important to identify those that are faced with the issue or could be affected by the issue and asking them for their feedback. Ask them, what is the problem? What do you think the problem is? Can you come up with any solutions? This help, helps build trust, and eventually it helps build buy-in with your coworkers. When you finally come up with a solution, if they were a part of it, it helps them buy into that solution. Then once you obtain all of that feedback, I would create a list. So create list everything that you and your coworkers have come up with as far as potential solutions and then evaluate that list. I would write everything down make the, on that list and put in positives and negatives of each proposed solution. Once you come up with that list and have all of those positive and negatives there, you're not of course going to go with the solution with the most negative parts to it. You're going to find the solution that is most positive to everybody. And that's where it's time to choose and implement that solution. A few things I want you to remember. Don't be afraid. We all deal with problems every single day. It's really how you react to them. And think of problems as opportunities to improve things. If you, It's all in how you go about it. So I know if you follow these steps, you will be terrific at finding solutions and identifying those problems.